Hey, good morning, everyone. Rick here with Hit and Run Candlesticks. How are you? Hey, it's Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Excuse me there. October 6, 2020. Okay. Yesterday, what a fantastic day yesterday, and I hope your day was as good as mine. And I hope your day was as good as uh, quite a few traders in the trading room. So, <clears throat> Let's start off today by a few things that I did yesterday. Um, I did buy some, whoops, where did it go here? There it is. Uh, I did buy some Nuance. Uh, nuance down in here. Was that yesterday, actually? I thought that, uh, uh, no, yeah, yesterday I did. Uh, I bought Nuance. Now, if you have watched our Saturday Charts to Ponder on YouTube, I urge you to do that if you haven't. Uh, Saturday morning, I, I post a, uh, a few charts to look at, and title is Charts to Ponder for the weekend. What I do is I set up a stop loss, I, buy, I set up a buy area, and then I set up a profit target, and this is how I set my trading plan up. Um, and Nuance was in that, that area there, uh, yesterday, so I bought a little nuance. That's the rule I have. So if we get down to my area and if everything else looks right, then I'm going to look to buy it. This was the day, or this was the, when the chart was talked about, it was based on the last candle printed. Uh, so here we are today. Uh, today's Tuesday, so I bought this yesterday. Uh, something else I did yesterday was I bought some Intel. Intel was also on one of our Saturday um, charts to ponder, and uh, I set up the buy box. I set up numbers to buy between. Uh, I set up a stop. There's the red line for the stop, and then a goal uh, up here. And the goal is, you know, I'd be happy with the goal right here at 56.60, but you know, if it moves up, I'm going to use that as well. So nothing wrong with a little bit more. Um, I sold half my Marvel. See, is that it? Yeah. I sold half my Marvel yesterday, and I'm still sell, still holding half for a very nice base hit, and just added to the old uh, Road to Wealth account. We're well on our way to doubling the account in 12 months, and uh, well, we're getting there. It's working. It's working. Uh, another thing I did is I sold Alley. I sold all my Alley yesterday. Uh, I've been in Alley and it wrapped up, ran up, and then it gapped yesterday. I chose to sell it all. I can always get back in it. Uh, but another one that we added to our Road to Wealth account that just uh, puts us closer and closer to doubling the account in 12 months. And who knows, even more, you know, even more. Okay. So let's take a look at the market. Okay, let's... Uh, sorry, I drink a little coffee there. All right. Um, it's uh, 7 o'clock my time, so that means it's uh, 8 o'clock East Coast time. So we're a little bit before the market opens. Um, the SPY, the spy we've, we have a morning star signal here. We have run up now above our trend indicator uh, and it looks like we're consolidating and then yesterday we had a nice pop looks like we're headed to that 342.87 now that 342.87 up here uh, it might see a little bit of resistance so uh, we want to watch our p's and q's there make sure we manage our money uh, carefully uh, a little bit carefully uh, in other words you might want to take profits you know just just keep an eye on it the last thing we want is the buyers to come up here and then they don't like it and there's sellers up here that knocks us back down. We don't want that. What we want are the buyers to come up and it's okay to consolidate, but then we want the buyers to move north like this. So just watch for selling signals in there. Right now, it looks good to me. I'm going to put a trend line from here to here and just extend it up. So I'm kind of expecting something uh, in that direction, uh, unless something changes. I mean, if we if we fail, then we'll deal with that. Um, FNGU, 
FNGU has also acted very good here. FNGU, we've got this uh, nice bottom in here. Um, and then we rallied up and we've pulled back here. Looks like we have found support. Uh, looks like buyers might be trying to step in and reach for that 220.65 up there. And you can see that that's why I put that line, a little bit of, um, a lot of touches on that line. So that makes for an area where price likes to go to at least see what it is. Uh, and we'll just keep an eye on it. VXX, absolutely no fear, uh, just no fear whatsoever. If we put up this chart right here, whoops, not that chart. How about this chart? Not that chart. Let me see what I'm going to do here. Let's put the 50 period moving average up. There we go. You can see that price can't get through that 50 period moving average. So until it does, I'm not going to be too concerned about the market. You may see a little little hop and pop going on here every now and then. You might see the VXX try to flap its wings and get things going and start some drama. But actually, until it gets over that 50, sim 50 simple, uh, no real family drama is going to happen. So not too concerned. Okay, let's take a look at some trade ideas for today. Now some of them, uh, a couple of them might be new for us, uh, but, but a few of them are also charts that you have seen on the Saturday um, charts to ponder. And uh, what I do is when I, when I, when I, when I do the tr Saturday charts to ponder, or whenever I do any trade ideas and I post them out there, I put them on a watch list. And what I end up doing is put them, in, put them on my live trading alerts uh, watch list, hot list is what it is. And this is what live trading alerts looks like right here. This is my absolute 100% edge in trading. So when I, when I see, you know, I'm only looking for charts that's set up the way I like them set up for my style of trading. And then I put them on the watch list. And really all I have to do is watch the lot watch list to see if anything anything is moving. That's what I want to know. I don't want to be in stagnant charts. I want to be in a chart that's moving. So when I see it start to move, then it gets my attention. And then I go over there and hook it. Uh, so kind of like fish, you know, I want to put the bait out there and then I want the fish to move into my bait. And when they get close to that bait, that's when I hook them. And, and this, this here tells me that the fish are coming my way. So, so anyway, um, LB, LB, uh, again, this is set up on one of the, I forget, it must be this recent Saturday because that arrow is right there. Uh, so this past Saturday, uh, I set this up and you can find it on YouTube. So what I've done is I made a green box here. This is the buy box. No one should be new to that. Um, I put the prices in there to buy between. You as a trader can buy anywhere you like. Uh, I like to buy it, will be buy between the areas that I post. I set my stop, and when I set this up like this, I try to set the stop up where we're less than 3 maybe 4% risk. And then I put a goal in there like that. And the goal here in this case is between 35.80 and 38.50 up there. So with a purchase of, say, in the middle of that box, you're looking at uh, 14, 14.5% if you split the middle up there. So I'll end up... Uh, buying a uh, option on these that's what i'll end up doing and uh on one of these here i'll show you exactly uh, what i'll be looking for okay or rather um, how i set that option up all right let's take a look at another one how about nio now nio we've been in this a couple times we've made some money uh, we bought and closed it out for profits well, here it is coming right back into our box and end up with a little doji yesterday. I'm looking for a buy between 2280 and 1940. So 2280, 1940 uh, with a stop. This one is a prop. This is a little bit bigger stop if you buy it up here. Uh, the closer you get it down here, then the stop is a little less. And remember, you, you're the trader. You can raise your stop up if you want. Don't be afraid to do that. Uh, a goal of 2672. So this is a chart here that I, I kind of like. And here, let's set, let's, 
let's set this up. You know, I get asked by an awful lot of people exactly um, how I buy the option. Uh, I, I get lots and lots of questions on that. So let's do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is type uh, NIO. There we go. Now we've got a chain. We've, we've got the option chain for NIO. And I'm going to go out to uh, 50 days plus. So let's just run to January. There's nothing between 45 and 101. So let's go to January. And then what I'm going to do is look for open interest right here. Do I have enough open interest? I can clearly see there's plenty open interest in there, okay? So uh, what I want to admit is a minimum of 20 times what I'm going to trade. Uh, and then what I want is a delta around 70. Well, there's 70 right smack on the button. And there's 3762 uh, contracts on the open interest. That looks like a good trade to me. So I think what I'm going I'm to end up doing is trading the January 19 strike. And that's exactly how I do it right there. Go out 50 days plus. Look for open interest in around a 70 delta. So 67 would have been perfectly fine. Uh, 73 would be perfectly fine. Uh, in this case, there's uh, plenty open interest on all three. So uh, either one could be used. And uh, I, again, I, I get asked this question an awful lot. And that's exactly how I do it. Okay. Let's move on to Nuance. Nuance is uh, on the list today because I think it's a buy. Remember I mentioned uh, earlier that I did buy this yesterday. As uh, long as we're still in this area or just ever so slightly breaking out, um, I may look to add to it as well. Uh, looking at 8% profit with a stop of less than 3%. That's pretty good risk reward. Um, right there. Now, remember, I'm going to be trading an, an option. This is the stock profit, 8%. The option profit is going to be, uh, oh, maybe 20%, something like that. Uh, just trading very simple directional options, that's all. Uh, Blink. Blink is another one that was on our Saturday. That's why it's all marked up. I don't mark up the daily stuff like I do the Saturday stuff. Um, but it's all marked up and actually could have been bought yesterday. It could have been bought yesterday, um, but I, I did not. So maybe, maybe, and maybe not, will we get a pullback here. Now, if I have to pay a little higher for Blink, that's okay with me. What I'll do is raise my stop up because I don't want a big stop uh, or deep stop. So I'll raise that stop up. And on Blink, we're looking at three goals up here. Um, and if I end up buying here, then the first goal really is not going to mean a lot to me. Um, just not a lot. As long as the price action looks solid, I'm going to skip it, and we're going to run to that second goal. And that'll be about 16%. So that's a pretty nice little swing trade right there on Blink. Terrific rounded bottom, by the way. Absolutely terrific rounded bottom. Uh, Facebook. Any Facebookers out there? So Facebook is underneath the 50 period moving average. Uh, the T-line is underneath the 50. Okay, that I don't like. That I don't like. So we'll be a little bit careful here. Um, yeah, we'll be a little careful. We do have a nice trend here, so I'm kind of going with that. I'm also going with the fact we have a low, a high, and a higher low, morning star signal. We're in the trap. So a lot of what I will be doing will be monitoring this trap area. And the trap area is that uh, T-line area right there, right there in the T-line. So I'll be monitoring that uh, and then watching for the uh, breakout as well. Now, we break out, that's going to be no, do nothing but help uh, my situation here. Uh, we move below, then I'm going to, I'll have, I'll keep a pretty tight stop on it because we're already under the 50 areas here, so I'm a little concerned. Uh, the rest of the chart is setting up nice, price action. So a little weakness, I'll just get right out of it. I'm not going to fool with it. Uh, if it wants to come back up, I can always buy it again. 
So we're going to keep an eye on Facebook. Uh, targets up here. Oh, watch that 276, 77. And then maybe, maybe she can run to 288 and some change up here. How about some Apple? Look at Apple. Now, Apple on the other hand, uh, Apple on the other hand is on top of the 50 period moving average. Uh, you can see the trend line we've got there. Uh, low, high, uh, higher low or double bottom if you want to call it that. And then, you know, low, high, higher low and now we're moving up. So we've got a gap down and a little bit of a gap up here. We're in the trap area. Uh, we get through 117.80. That's going to work out pretty good. That'll, that'll run pretty nice up there. Uh, that'll be pretty doggone nice up here. So, um, hey, speaking of the track trap, my friend uh, Doug Campbell, he runs Right Way Options. Um, he's doing a trap class coming up the end of this month. So watch for emails. Uh, watch for information. It is limited seating of only 30 people, and I promise you that's it. It's not going to be, you know, 30 seats are sold, and, oh, hey, 30 seats are sold, so we're going to raise it up 30 more seats. That's not going to happen. I promise you, promise you, promise you that's not going to happen. It's 30 or none, or, well, even if there's 10 people, we're going to do the class. But uh, it'll be sold out. I'm not concerned about that, but we are not going to add. So I guess the point is, if you want your seat, you might want to try to claim it. The 3 8 trap is a dynamite trading system. Uh, it works. It's easy. Um, it, it's, I, I think everyone should take the, the class. So it, it, watch for emails. Look, keep your ears open. Uh, and we'll get links out to you if you're interested. How about Boeing? Boeing may be setting up. Put this on Saturday's, this past Saturday's uh, charts to watch over the weekend. Uh, to me, it's a buy between 167.75 and 174.48. Now, that might seem like a pretty wide area, but it's your money. You're the trader. You pick exactly where you want to buy it. Uh, really, no matter where you buy it at, if it gets up here, you're going to make money. So I don't get too hysterical over a trick entry, actually. Um, so here we are from a low to a high to a higher low, and now we're trying to move up. Good candle yesterday. You can see we're right smack dab in our buy box. So I'll be looking at buying some Boeing with a buy uh, on about the middle of the buy box. Uh, you're looking at about 10.5% first target area, and then about 17.5% the second target area with a stop right here at that red line, which which was stop, which should have been around 3%, give or take. Uh, actually, 2%, less than 2% on the stop. So uh, here's a po nice possible move for uh, for Boeing. It, it may be setting up real nice here. Uh, Intel. Now, yesterday, I did buy some Intel uh, when it was in the buy area here, and it stayed in the buy area, so it's still a buy. It, there's a chance I'll add to it. I've got, like all my trades, I've got them on the alert window here. And if if I see Intel, um, well, this is actually my hot list, uh, one of them. These are just, just scans. Uh, but when I if I see Intel popping up, then I'm going to pay attention to it. And I may add to it because once it starts moving, it could start moving pretty fast. Uh, pretty doggone fast. And here, I'll, let me show you what I mean. Take a look at URI yesterday. URI was on this past Saturday's uh, charts to ponder over the weekend. Now, the idea was uh, that URI had a nice big candle. The idea was, well, URI would consolidate. Well, so much for that idea. It just gapped up and ran. So uh, when we start to see buyers come in, sometimes they, they take right off. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at on... Uh, uh, Intel, if I start to see buyers come in, it could really start to take off. We've got a nice bullish W pattern forming. We haven't quite created it yet because it hasn't broken out. So we're a little early maybe for the uh, W pattern, but that's all right. We'll give that a shot. We've got our stop in. We've got our goal one, goal two in. Uh, nice little trap play here. We're over the 50-day period moving average. 
I can see by this up here, it's also a rounded bottom breakout. And a rounded bottom breakout is my favorite um, overall strategy. Uh, favorite overall strategy. So, so there we are with Intel. All right, I do believe that is it. All right, folks, um, for whatever it's worth, I've noticed uh, yesterday pot stocks had a little little interest. I also noticed that um, uh, some banking stocks popped up. Uh, Wells Fargo, for instance. Now, I'm in Wells Fargo. Had a nice little gap up, so really cool with that. I've noticed other banking stocks are starting to work. Um, let's see, what else was there? Oh, I sure thought there was something else. Um, you know, um, oh, and some oil. We, we, we want to keep our eye on some oil. It, it's, you know, we're not in that buy area for me just yet. I need the pattern to set up. But the fact that, say, XOP has put in a bullish engulf and gapped up, what I would now need to see at this point, uh, it, it could go up higher, but what I would need to see is a pullback and then we'll start looking for buyers. And that's where I will start getting interested. But I've noticed that oil is starting to starting to wake up. So let's keep that on our radar. Let's keep pot stocks on our radar. Uh, some of those baking banking stocks, keep them on your radar. Um, anyway, I'll keep you posted on those. All right, folks, thank you very much for listening in on today's video blog. Uh, I hope you listen in tomorrow and every day that we post the uh, blogs out there. And if you get a chance to stop into the trading room, we please uh, please say hi. Step up, say, hey, Rick, how you doing? You're new here or you heard me talk on the, on the um, YouTube and you just wanted to, to shout out a hi. Okay, everyone take care. Be safe. Have a wonderful day trading. And we'll see you in a little while when the market opens up.